A handful of songs, P769, stroke 175, take one. Hello. Hello, Maria. Mm -hmm. You see, we're in the country again. Oh, yeah. Mm. We're going to see lots of animals. Oh, certainly. And we're going to start with some black sheep from Kevin Green. Oh, I think they're playing leapfrog. <laughs> Very likely. And uh, here's Warren Blount's sheep with three bags full and the master, the dame and the little boy. Well done, Warren. Here's a lovely squiggly crayon picture from Katie Fluke. <laughs> I bet that was fun to do. Oh, rather. And there are some more super squiggles in Samantha Williams' picture. Well done, everyone. Here's Baba -ba Black Sheep. Baba -ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. <laughs> now, here's a song we haven't done for ages. And Jennifer Small has reminded us with this very jolly picture of the well on top of the hill and Jack and Jill falling down either side. <laughs> They'll need parachutes in Sarah Abbott's picture. Look at that, what a steep hill. Oh yes, they seem quite happy, don't they? Which is more than can be said for Jack and Jill in Andrew's picture. They're going down head first and I don't think those pretty flowers are going to cushion their fall. <laughs> Not much. No. <laughs> the last picture now and it's from Rachel Carter who really has filled every space with colourful crayons. Well done, everyone. Here's your song. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got, and home did trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed and patched his head with vinegar and brown paper. I like singing. Song, but I'd like to see some more animals, please. Mm. You promised me lots, and I've only seen black sheep so far. <laughs> right, well, Rachel Quinn, Ruth Quinn, has sent us cows, pigs, a chicken, a cat, and uh, a duck. Oh, who's the chap with the red hat? Ah, that's the farmer who looks after them all. His name is Old MacDonald. Ooh. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig. E I E I O with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Old MacDonald. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O With a ba ba here and a ba ba there Here, ba there, ba everywhere ba ba Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Now Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O With a ruff ruff here and a ruff ruff there Here, ruff there, ruff everywhere, ruff ruff Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Now Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here and a quack quack there Here quack there quack everywhere quack quack woof woof here And a woof woof there here woof there woof everywhere woof woof Ba ba here ba ba here ba ba everywhere ba ba had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Goodness gracious, oh, what dear. a lot of animals mm. and what a lot of people in Lisa Barnes' picture. Look, they're all singing. Well, Lisa wants to hear, I'd like to teach the world to sing. Oh, and I'm glad she didn't try to draw everybody in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope Lisa won't mind just two voices singing the song. 
or we'll sing extra loud. Yes. And you join in at home. <laughs> I'd like to build the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honey bees and snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I'd like to hold it in my arms and keep it company. I'd like to see the world for once, all standing hand in hand, and hear them echo through the hills. Oh, be throughout the land. That's the song I hear. Let the world sing today. Put your hand in my hand. Let me find. I'd like to teach a dragon to sing instead of mm, we'll make a nice change instead of it, all that roaring and breathing yeah. fire all over the place. Um, Awful. Are you referring to our friend Puff? Because you couldn't find a friendlier animal. He only roars up pirates and the fire's just to keep his cave warm. Oh. Look at Susan Patterson's lovely pencil drawing. Doesn't he look nice? Oh, yes. Well, Susan's Puff might look harmless, but Richard Moore has painted a fierce green dragon with orange flames coming out of his mm, mouth. Yes. Mm. It does look rather like the Welsh dragon. Um, it's day dragon look you. Oh, Keith, get on with the job. There are more dragons to look at before you sing the song. Well, this, well, there's yeah. this one with two humps drawn by Daniel Mark Webb. Uh -huh. Two humps, eh? Now, is that a Bactrian or a dromedary? Not Camel Keith, Camel's Keith dragons. <laughs> now, one more from you. Right. Here's Puff the Pink Dragon, drawn by Tony Kelshaw. And I think that's an even bigger dragon in the background. Song Keith! Sorry. <laughs> Puff the magic dragon Lived by its sea And frolicked in the autumn mist In a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper Loved that rascal Puff Bought him string and sealing wax And other fancy stuff Together they went sailing On a boat with billowed sail Jackie kept a lookout Perched on Puff's gigantic tail Noble knights and princes Would bow whene'er they came Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff wrote out his name. Now dragons live forever, but not so little boys. Painted wings and giant rings make way for other toys. One grey night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff, the magic dragon, he ceased his fearless roar Teardrops filled his eyes Green scales fell like rain Puff no longer went to play Along the cherry lane Without his lifelong friend Puff could not be brave So Puff the magic dragon Sadly slipped into his cave Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. that sad cave yes. and into an English country garden for our last song. Isn't that a pretty picture painted by Christopher Phillips? And it's a pretty song too. Would you like me to help you sing it? Mm, thank you very much. I don't. How many gentle flowers grow in an English country garden? I'll tell you now of some that I know and those I miss I hope you'll Pardon. Dandelions, hearts, leaves and stalks, meadow sweets and lily stocks, gentle lupins and tall hollyhocks, roses, foxgloves, snowdrops, forget-me-nots in an English country garden. How many in 
insects make their home in an English country garden. I'll tell you now of some that I know and those I miss. I hope you'll pardon. Dragonflies and moss and bees, spiders falling from the trees, butterflies sway in the mild, gentle breeze. There are hedgehogs that roam and little gnomes in an English country garden. Mm, I love that being out in the open air. Mm. Gives me an appetite, actually. Oh, I think just breathing makes you hungry. Oh. Have you got enough strength to say goodbye? Oh, yes, and I can sing a handful of songs as well. Oh, good. Well, we'll see you next week, and we'll be here, and so will Keith if he's not hungry or sleeping or something. <laughs> oh, yes, see you next week. Bye-bye. 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 We got a handful of songs to sing you. Can't stop my voice when it longs to sing you. New songs we blues sing you. Can't stop my voice when it longs to sing you. New songs and blues songs and songs to bring you. Happiness, no more, no less. Moreover, wherever we may roam to, or any shore that we may be blown to, we know that we're gonna feel at home to La Bella, music of jazz and cha cha cha, calypso and street and the cries. <laughs>